Hello and welcome to this tutorial number 6A. It's going to be a subtitle <laughs> or a sub uh, division of um, the tutorial number 6. In the last tutorial, I had mentioned that we were going to work on making a button in this one. So we're, let's get started. And at, so I'm going to leave all of these text links up here, but let's say that you want to put a button on here for whatever reason. Okay, so what we do is we come over here to the left, click on our add a shape, and then of course you get that little jobby. Now then you have this little um, side window that opens up, and you can choose whatever design that you want. Uh, some lend themselves very well to uh, making buttons. Um, just be aware that it, you know, like the star would have to be huge in order to put a text in it. But you could always, uh, you say, you know, click the star to go to the home page, or you know, or something to that effect. So I'm going to use the rounded rectangle this time, and nothing happens as you'll see. But you take your mouse and you, your pointer, and you put it wherever you want on your page, and we're going to put it right there. I'm going to just get that out of the way so it's less confusing. And so now we've got this <laughs> turquoise um, thing on here. So, okay, we're going to come up here to Styles, and we have a, a pop-up box that has all kinds of different um, styles for buttons. Now, just be aware that if you use something really wild and crazy, you have to be sure that your visitor can read what is on this button. I mean, this, I think, is really a great-looking button, but you would have to probably go into something very, like maybe a dark red and very large so that your visitor would know what it is that they're clicking on and where they're going to go once they click on it. So I'm going to instead go with this. I think that's kind of pretty. Um, and it, it takes into effect that it's a darker color. Now, we come up here to buttonize, and we're going to click that. And on this, we're going to write our button text. And in this case, it's going to be index. Okay. Now, if we look down here, you can see that's itty bitty. <laughs> And it's off to the right. It's right justified. And we come down here to our text style. And let's make that, I'm just going to leave it in that font. And I'm going to center that. But I certainly want to make it larger. Let's, because it's, <laughs> just because. And, okay, so there that is. Now, I'm not really sure what would it look like if I change the color. So change the um, let me do that again so you can see what I did. Over here, it's kind of hard to see because it is white. Um, here's your text color. And I'm going to make that a bright yellow. And see what that looks like. Yeah, you can see that pretty good, I think. So then you can go ahead and do different things with this. You can create a mouse over, um, whatever you want to. So that you could have it change, like when you would mouse over it it would say, okay, so here it would uh, maybe be a different style even. Uh, you could even go um, to something like this so that when they mount, you know, when your visitor mouses over it, it changes the style. So then you can save your button um, and you would, you have to name it of course. So you could give it a name um, this could be like for your, I don't know, index or message board or whatever. I'm not going to do that, but then you just type that name in there and you, and then it would be saved. So I will continue this on 6B. Thank you for watching.